You know, so my grandfather, he's 94, still lives in the same house, and that's where we kind of congregate as a family. And you know, the little community that we have at that family, I think that's something I've really tried to, I mean, that kind of folds into the passion that I have about food and what I do. I really like what happens around the table when you're eating. You know, you're sharing wine, you're sharing food, you're sharing stories. And with my family, everything's on the table. So it's, it's a good way to kind of hash out whatever's going on in your life and leave it there, so to speak. Tradition is a big thing in my family, and food is a big part of that. I mean, I could go on about what we always make. You know, my grandfather has been making vinegar for 50 plus years. You know, you learn a lot about people and where they're from through their food, and I think that that's a big reason why I really like what I'm doing. I have some things that I'm more comfortable with, maybe that I grew up around or that I grew up eating at my grandparents' house, my parents' house but you can kind of venture outside your comfort zone really easily and you're able to learn about cultures and you know the reason why things grow in certain areas and how people use them. I'm not somebody that's you know just at the front commanding and barking orders at people. I'm, I want to be in the trenches with everybody. I want to be involved with everybody. It's like my sport. It's a team approach. It's a career that's never ending. It's always, there's always something new to learn, whether it's a technique or an ingredient or just another, like, another flavor to add to the mix. The kitchen is high energy and fast paced, and I think it's important to, to go hard and fast and then know when to slow down. 